How's it going, everybody? Hopefully you had a good weekend. Talking about David Dorn. Talked about him a couple days ago. He was that retired St. Louis police officer, 77-year-old gentleman who was shot down by a bunch of animals in cold blood in a pawn shop. A couple videos here I wanted to show you about that. 100 people gathered in North St. Louis this, this afternoon, including about 30 St. Louis police officers. They marched arm in arm down Martin Luther King Drive to remember and honor Captain Dorn. The march began outside Lee's Pawn and Jewelry Shop. That's where the 77-year-old Dorn was working security for the shop when he was shot down on the sidewalk during the looting early Tuesday morning. Dozens of friends, family members, and strangers took part in this tribute. Police officers who remembered him as their superior and a shoplifter who said Captain Dorn helped him turn his life around. David Dorn used to work in Famous and Boy in Stixbury and Fuller. I used to work there too. He was a paid employee. I was an underpaid employee. He was working there to protect the stuff. I was there to take the stuff. So that's how we met. Um, I took off work today to make sure that I, you know, I could be here. It was very important just for me to make sure that everyone knew that, you know, that I don't, I care. The night that that happened is about theft, and and so, hey, he gave all those those wonderful years in law enforcement, and then to end up being killed in such tragic circumstances. It, it, it hurts our heart, and it's just unfortunate. I just pray that we um, we find the killer. Now, Captain Definitely. Doran's wife and son did not take part in the march. Some other family members did. His sister-in-law and his nieces were marching down Martin Luther King Drive today. Now, Chief Hayden, who you just heard from there, says that no arrests have been made in the killing of Captain Dorn, but he says it is a very active investigation. In downtown St. Louis, I'm Dan Gray, Fox 2 News. So that actually leads me to a couple other videos here. A couple little short two-minute, one-minute clips here. These are from the robbery, showing the robbery. It doesn't show the actual homicide itself. I didn't see that. I haven't seen it. I don't want to watch it. Well, let's take a look here at the news and see what they're talking about. have just released surveillance video of persons of interest in the murder of a retired police captain. 77-year-old David Dorn was shot to death as a pawn shop he was protecting was being looted. Fox 2's Andy Banker live tonight at police headquarters with that chilling video. Andy. Jasmine, that video shows at least seven persons of interest, at least two of them, with guns in their hands. Inside Lee's Pawn and Jewelry in North St. Louis, it was around 2.30 Tuesday morning. It's around the same time Dorn was shot to death. It shows all seven entering through the shattered glass of the shop's front door during the rioting and looting that followed the earlier peaceful protests of the death. Pause that right there, and I'm going to switch over to this other video that shows you all seven, one by one. Look at this pawn shop, though, by the time they're in there, it's pretty much wiped out, right? Look at, what is that down there? Toilet paper? Is that toilet paper down there? So I was a bit confused by this video. I, I couldn't tell if they were coming from the pawn shop or going into the pawn shop. To me, I thought they were coming out of the pawn shop when it showed them all coming out. And that's why he held the gun at the door like that. But regardless, wherever they were going was pretty wiped out. You saw that, right? All the display cases had already been picked clean. So let's go back to this first video, the news clip, to finish up with that and see what they're talking about death of George Floyd at the hands of police in Minnesota 11 days ago. 
You see these seven run throughout the store. Okay. One appears so to have a cut store. on his left hand. Another points a gun toward the door. The beloved Captain Dorn served 38 years with St. Louis Police so and then later served as chief side. of the Moline Acres Police Department. Okay. Dorn was a friend of the shop owner and would check on the place when burglar alarms mm -hmm. were set off. The Crime Stoppers reward in the case has grown to $46,000. Along with the surveillance video, Crime Stoppers received a Facebook Live post disturbingly showing Dorn's dying moments as the looting continued. It has also been turned over to investigators. I worked with Captain Dorn for many years. Love the man. Love his family. I can't watch that. I sent it to the investigators. He's every man. He's every woman. He's every police officer. That was so unnecessary, so egregious, so horrible that, uh, you know, we can do everything in our power to find out who this person was and uh, make sure he, they're not able to do it again. And again, that reward is up to $46,000. The number to call Crime Stoppers is 866-371-TIPS. All tips are anonymous and all rewards are paid anonymously. Hmm. Live at police headquarters, Andy Banker, Fox 2 News. I hadn't seen the footage of the homicide itself. I don't think I ever want to see it. I think I've seen enough pain and suffering <laughs> going on. I, it's Just a couple thoughts I had on it, though. I liked that third video, the one I showed you that was just about a minute long before I went back to this news clip here, where they, I thought they did a great job. They just, boom, like paused it. Every single one of them coming out, boom, they got a nice shot of every single one of them. And I would say this, though. You think that if you live your life a certain way, you think that, or I should say if you live in a certain area snitches get stitches code whatever don't snitch forty six thousand dollars is a lot of money and somebody out there knows something many people out there i think know something and at some point you'd imagine that that reward is going to get high enough to where somebody's like you know i know good old tyrell or good old tyrone or whomever he looks like that guy right there in the video. You know, an ex or something. It's going to be it's going to be a woman that's going to break the case, right? One of these guys is going to do some woman wrong and boom, next thing you know, she's calling up that crime stoppers collecting that money. Now, 46,000 bucks. That's quite a bit of money, but we'll see what happens when that thing goes over 50, 75 all of a sudden. You never know. You think that like I said, if you're living in a certain neighborhood, there's a certain code, you think you're good, but somebody, even if it's not a, a woman, an ex, an angry ex, baby mama, whatever, even if there's not an angry individual, one of these seven guys, there's seven of them, how is it possible that seven of them can keep this secret forever? It seems almost impossible, right? Maybe we don't get an answer now, as to who these individuals are, but at some point, one of these guys is going to talk to somebody. It's going to be the wrong person, and they're going to be like, oh yeah, <laughs> that reward's pretty chunky. Here, let me turn you in. Do, 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 call Crime Stoppers. Done. Case will be broken. Hopefully, we get that sooner than later for the family. Hopefully, they get a little bit of closure out of this. I know that they really can't, but again, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that, show you that video a series of videos, I should say, and just to say hopefully somebody, you know, hopefully somebody values that money enough to turn these clowns in. So it just takes one person turning one person in, and then the dominoes will start to fall because you know all of these individuals. If you weren't one of the guys who actually pulled the trigger, and they get you, and they start talking about a felony murder charge, you know you're going to be pointing your finger at somebody else trying to save your own butt. All right, everybody, take it easy. Hopefully your week gets off to a good start. Thanks for watching the video, everyone. Take care.